Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I'm Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. Today's Oracle offering will be individualized. Your choices are Bloom, Yes, or Om. So if you'd like to make your choice, I'll open with the invocation. If you take this time to set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe. Wow, they're jumpy cards today. And bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. Oh, and so it is. Our first card for Bloom. One for each. Thank you. There's one for yes, and one more for own. And this one jumped when I said it. Okay. Lots of energy in the cards today. Let's see what they offer through the oracle. Nimue, seek the counsel of the crystals. Number eight. Nimue speaks. Between my two hands lies the power of all that is. The connections between the earth and the stars. The realms through which you can move to bring about your deepest desires and dreams. But do you dare to dream it? Are you courageous enough to declare your desire? I can create but I will not be brought forth when you do not have the fortitude to commit to your change. Make a commitment to thy own self now. She who you truly are is worth this trust, this pledge, this courage you must have to birth your own changing self. For I am gentle, but I too have no more time to spend if you wish to waste the jewels life has given you. I will turn away because it may not yet be your time. Only you can say it is not so and walk forth into your new self with me as guide and light, with transformation as your nature, with your incarnation without material death as your truth. Do this with me, bless thyself, love thyself, know that you are beyond your own imaginings, act this day this hour, this minute, and change will flow. Do not hesitate. Be transformed now. Well, that's quite a <clears throat> call into blooming. Here for yes, we have Queen Mab. You, your ancient wisdom is awakening. She's got, oh, I'm just gonna read. Number 11. Queen Mab, your ancient wisdom is awakening. Mab speaks. I am Mab. Some call me queen. And it is of your independence and personal sovereignty that I wish to speak to you at this time. Each day you see and feel injustices in your world and each time you remain mute. You allow the energy to spiral. Now is the time to make a difference. Now is the time to take back the power of the mother, the earth goddess from whom we were all birthed. The precious gift of being on this planet. Understand you are energy and you can use more than the old aggressive ways. Use your energy and your mind. Breath work and what you call prayer, but what I call magic, to speak and allow your voice to reach others. You are more powerful than you know. When you find yourself struggling within the cage of anger and fear, breathe love and rest and revive yourself with knowledge of your own strength. Know the dragon fae are with you. 
and will help transmit your messages around this world you dwell in now. For I know, and I tell you, that a reckoning will be made, and that you are part of this magical planet's rescue team. Be strong. Be wise. Stay safe. And change the world. Wow. <laughs> um, beautiful. From Queen Mav. And here for Ohm, we have Gwen and Elwish with Attunement. Number 16. I love my life. It's just one synchronicity after another. Gwen and Elowish speak as one. Dear one, never be surprised at the ways in which your connection to the mother and to the earth are being birthed into the world. If you are experiencing prophetic dreams, sift through the images and the messages and know that all insights are worthy of attention, most especially your own. The inner world and the earth's magic are both speaking to you, wishing for you to answer. Do this by connecting with your own inner self. We know that you are searching for answers that are indeed within you, and that the path you are walking is not easy under your feet. We all return to her, the great goddess, our mother, their earth wishes for you to reconnect with her in simple, pleasant, and joyful ways. Friends and food, laughter and love. Do not fear your own true self, your intuitive self. There are many words your people use for the truth of who you are, which can lead to confusion. And there has been fear and suspicion seated in your minds, which can lead to mistrust. Know that from your true magical self, you are a being of magic with a unique blend of earth, air, fire, and water magic making up your spirit. You are receiving messages, and yes, you can also hear them, just as we can hear each other's thoughts before they have even developed into words. In time, you will come to understand these silent ways of communicating and know the truth of your belonging to the old ways. Know that all beings, plants, animals, and etheric have so much to share with you. You are never alone. So those are all very beautiful and empowering and encouraging uh, offerings for today. And I, I hope they all serve you well. I'll see you again. Thank you.